Now there's a question. What if you don't know what color your stucco is? If you don't know what color your stucco is, and if you've got a patch area that you can pull off and it comes off in a big chunk, you can take that down to the paint store with you. Take a picture. Uh, maybe if you, if you have an adjoining rail, let's say, and if you think this color is the same as that, you can take your your bolt out and you can have a match it to that if you want and whatever you do patch is a patch and so if it does stand out you're gonna have to decide okay what am I gonna do about it like if you were to do something right in here and it was way off well not that far off but just a little bit you could go from corner to corner from corner to corner and then go up if your column stops somewhere, let's say it stops up to your your stucco ceiling or something. Maybe you just do this side of the column. And if it's really super close, nobody's ever going to know, are they? Or like this, how far would you have to go? Do you have to go just and stop it right there or go up this edge and stop it there or something? Or continue it up up to the other column at the at the top of that column or something and you just stop it there well, there's different things you can do you know this one and then once if you're doing uh, stucco from scratch and you and they want to put a color code in it you make sure you know what that color code name is and write it down now if you don't know and if you got a 40 year old house and your stucco on the outside of the house needs to be painted anyways and you get a painter to paint the whole thing now you know what the color is and you can use that paint color and you can put it in drive it and then you can use that for your stucco patches okay so different different thoughts for you when it comes to your patching brought this paint can out because that paint can was the same color that I put on this trim and I was going to use that on the stucco over there and but since I have my my uh, my color coat stuff I might as well I might as well just use that see I can just I can just get a little bit on here because I know it's this very same. Okay, so leave it like that, come back to it in a little bit, brush it down when it's drying. Okay? Very goodly. Now don't forget to get your lid back on. And I've cleaned it around the edge because that's the rubber seal. You can actually grab that and pull it out if you want it but it's a long ring that goes down there that seals that and before I put that on there I wanted to make sure I didn't have any buildup on the top edge here I've already kind of scraped it off okay and that way I'll get a nice tight seal on there I won't get any air up in here if I left some of that on there I'd get a possibility of some air going, coming in here it's the worst thing for this you get air in here then this is all going to dry up now this this side is all dried as it is that's how it was from before and I have to just leave that alone I don't want to just clean that and scrape that all off because then it will go back into my mix and I don't want that so I'm just going to have to leave that leave that section alone in fact you see this this is wet that's wet stuff I can tell 
that was the part from before when I used it and I, I should have kind of wiped down the edges when I could see down here if it's still wet like that you can put that you can put that back down in your your stuff okay but nothing if it's not wet see some of it some of it's pretty pretty dry I'm not gonna I really don't want to mess with it too much and then I'll leave all that I'll leave that alone I've got a good half I probably got two and a half at least two and a half three gallons of that drive it left for more patches nice so I don't think I'm gonna need this anymore if I have to dip in with my paintbrush once or twice in, in a half hour or so fine I'll open it back up I just don't want to forget about it so I'll keep that nicely sealed that's my secret weapon for any patches I need on this house from here on out. This looks like a throwaway for sure now, right? <laughs> Wrong. I'm going to clean that off. That's pretty much clean. But I'm just going to save this. I'm going to save this. So anytime I need to do any stucco work, if it's a bigger patch, if I have to roll it on. You saw me, I used this one time to roll it on. And this could put little dimples in it. And I'll just leave it like that. It'll get all dry and stuff. But I'll leave that with all my other paint rollers. Just like that, in case I need it. No sense messing up a four inch roller cover every single time I want to put a little dab on the wall, right? And you saw I can either I can either put that on the wall, I could brush it on the wall, depending if it's a small little patch, I could put it on with my three inch putty knife, even my inch and a half putty knife, that worked really well. And there you go. Patch away. After that black skinned up, I took a little bit more wherever I saw it, put it on my finger that time and went around. Doesn't that look nice? So that's all ready for the, the concrete pavers. Got it all nicely patched in there. Over in here too. So tomorrow, I guess I'm ready to reinstall this stuff here. Well, tomorrow is a big day. I'm getting ready to reinstall my concrete pavers, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about, kaboom, I'm gonna install this timer. Timer, it's a dimmer. So you turn it off down here, and then there's a dimmer paddle right there. And the cool thing with this is it's not a single pole dimmer. I can hook it up as a single pole, or look at that, three-way. That's where there's two switches in the wall at different locations. And in this room, I've got these can lights all the way around here, and I think at night it would look cool to have these dimmed down like when you're watching TV or something and so I'm gonna put this in I'm gonna put it in at the bottom of the stairs come down the stairs this dimmer switch is gonna be right here so that's what I'm gonna do on this particular video you wanna see that I have I have never installed a three-way dimmer before so I'm curious how the wiring is gonna be in there 
and this particular dimmer is set up that way. Not all dimmers are three ways. So, and I talked to the store and I says, do I, I was pretty sure of the answer. I was like, can I put a dimmer on this one and leave the other three-way switch alone? And they said, yeah, you can do that. So this one here is just going to be an on-off for these lights. Okay. And then I'm going to have the dimmer over there. And if you wanted a three-way dimmer at both locations, you can do that too. There's a way to do that when you wire this up. So I'm curious how that's going to work. If you want to see that, stick around.